Hey, Coach, I know we've been winning games so far, but I feel like I haven't been contributing like I could. I don't know how to ask this, but I just want to be more involved in the offense. I'm happy for Marone. I mean, he is getting the ball, but I think we can really take our offense to the next level if I'm getting the ball in different ways. I'm not going to tell you how to get game plan or demand to get the ball, but I feel like our team can be so much better right now on offense. If I have the ball in my hands, look, I'm willing to contribute any way possible, but I'm telling you, coach, I'm ready to take off, and all I need is the rock in my hands, and I can make magic happen. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the CTU Dynasty. Now, how about this CTU team? We are 3-0 to start this season and winning our first Big 12 game last episode versus the Houston Cougars, and now we go up against the number nine Army led by James Yancey, a first round projected running back this will be the first star we face all season and the first of many because the Big 12 is actually really, really good this year. Now, Kentrell Craft is demanding the football. I guess not really demanding, but asking to contribute a little more to the offense. Only six receptions for 109. We'll see if he can improve that today as we are on the road at West Point. Look at this beautiful stadium is let's get this game underway. CTU starts out with the ball. Our defense has been balling. Will our offense come around today? Here is BJ Johnson with the first pass of the game. We'll go to Flint Steele, the true freshman. Now I'm looking to get Flint Steele going as well. We recruited him for a reason to add some speed opposite of Kraft. First and 10 now, screen pass, that one. Sniffed out on the play, loss of three yards as that brings us back here to the 33-yard line for a second and 13. BJ in the pocket, the pocket collapses, and he gets hit on that throw. It's gonna fall incomplete. Third and 13 now. BJ rolls to the right side. It looks like he's gonna try to run it himself, and the sticks are right there at the 46, and he reaches the ball out, and it will be a first down, gain of 13. So fresh set of downs now, running craft in motion. He said he wanted to get the ball. That was the perfect opportunity right there, but B.J. Johnson had a whole lot of feel to the left side. But John Wheeler with the shoestring sack. And now third and long again. Johnson hit on the throw, throws to the right side. There is Kraft, makes the move and picks up 13, but he needed 16. And what will the coach do? Willingham wants to go for it here, so we will. Fourth and three, here's a handoff. Adrian Johnson, and he gets to the six. It's a gain of five for the first down. And now here we are at about the 43. Great run by Johnson, picking up the first. Here's a handoff to him, and he gets absolutely tattooed. Loss of two. This is Jay Lionel in the game now, running the option to the right side, and that does not work. Loss of two yards, giving them a different look. So now third and long. This time, BJ throws to an open Marone. He makes a move upfield and picks up 12. He needed 13. It's a fourth and one, just out of field goal range again. Willingham wants to go for this one. Fourth and one, BJ Johnson hands off to Adrian Johnson again, and he picks up a gain of four. Now we have converted, converted two fourth downs on this drive and we are at our 12th play on the drive. We're already four and a half into the quarter. Here's a throw to the right side. It's Cookie Rockman, a 21 yard reception. He scored twice last game inside the goal line and now he gets a 20 yard reception. He's been involved in the game plan every single game now. Here's a handoff though. Adrian Johnson at about the nine cuts up field tackled at about the one gain of eight. Five for 16 on this drive for Adrian Johnson. That's the most carries he's had on one drive. Here's a toss play out to left side. That's Kentrell Kraft. It's a touchdown. We said we wanted to get him involved and he's in the backfield. That's a touchdown from one yard out. He gets into the end zone. Good things do happen when you give Kentrell Kraft the rock. It is seven nothing. 
That was a 17 play drive, the longest drive of the season for CTU. And here is Army out, to the, out onto the field, running this wing tee. And there's a face mask already helping him out. Another 15 yards on that play. Yancey is number five. He runs in motion this time. Sanders runs the option to the left side, pitching it to Yancey. Yancey breaks a tackle, breaks two, and picks up a gain of 13. Yancey's key attribute is that he has 99 break tackle. It's going to be tough to tackle him today. Second and 10 now. Here's a carry to Mike Huffman. And Mike Huffman is 91 overall as well. He is just as good as Yancey, and he's a junior as well. Here's a throw to the right side, third and 10. This one's caught by Tucker. And it looked like Lexington was in the area. He just didn't get his body turned around. But now they line up to go for it here on a fourth and one. Sanders under center. And you know they have plenty of options with this wing team. They run Yancey in motion. Sanders, and he trips up. It looks like he tripped over maybe his feet right there, picking up only a gain of four. We thought he was going to pitch it right there to Yancey. So now they get it inside the 15, and there is a false start on the offense. So this is going to move back for a third and 13. You got to think they're going to try to pass the ball here. Sanders now throwing from the pocket. This one's caught by Will Roberts. It's going to be a gain of 10. And now a fourth and three. They do settle for three points on that drive. And now we have possession right back. Here is Kentrell Kraft still in the backfield. And he picks up about a gain of two. Third and eight. Here's a throw to the left side. Kraft again. 20 yards on that catch. Trying to get him the ball more and get him involved early. You can already see the game plan. As now here we are on the other side of the 50. Army sends the pressure. Here's a quick throw. And that is caught by Jackson Jackson. But he does get lit up on that catch as well. Bringing it to a third and five. Johnson. Moves to the right side. Nobody to really throw it to. He's just going to tuck it and run it. And he breaks the tackle and picks up the first down. Pushed out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. B.J. Johnson using his legs. So running a man in motion. But this is a handoff to Calvin Smith. True freshman running back. We recruited him. He wasn't the highest rated recruit at all. But he gets in right there for a nice gain of nine. Third and one, he stays in the game. And he has that burst right there up the middle, gain of seven. He is our fastest back on the team with 87 speed, so we're definitely gonna be looking to get him the ball as the season goes on. Here's a quick throw to the right side. That one's caught by Mike Marone. He gets to about the four. Handoff, second and goal. Calvin Smith, touchdown! The first career touchdown for the freshman running back, and he cuts to the outside. Great vision on that one. 14 to three start versus the number nine team in the country. As Army is gonna have to put something together here. As here is Sanders now throwing to the right side. That's Yancey coming out of the backfield. He picks up a gain of 18 and a first down. The first first down throw through the air for the Army. Here's a throw to the right side. Jerome Henry almost with the interception. He could have had his first of the season. Now at the 38 from the wing tee, handoff to Mike Huffman. And that play is so deceiving. It goes for a gain of nine. It looks like they're going the other way, and they hand it to Huffman. And now it's a third and one. Sanders under center, running Huffman in motion this time. He cuts up field. It's a first down. Joseph Crawford Jr. was there on the stop. And these long drives do add up. A lot of times coming off the clock. Now we're at about two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Yancey, handoff to left side, and that one is a gain of five. Tackle at about the 13-yard line. As here is Sanders, handoff to the third string running back. This is Goff, and he gets inside the five. Dan Goff, 11 yards, first down for him. Now we're about at two minutes to go here in the first half. Sanders. A fake up the middle, and he gets absolutely tattooed. And that is Vincent Showcross on the hit. You forget about Showcross. Now that Smoke Wyatt is in the fold, but Showcross is having a great season. Third and goal. Sanders on her center. He's going to look to throw it. Got Nobody it. throw it to, and he goes down. It's a loss of seven yards. Joseph Crawford Jr. was there along with a bunch of other guys. Bo Rocky was there also. And we get to the quarterback, and they settle for three once again. 
14 to six now, as we have about a minute to go in the first half. Here's a throw to the right side. Somehow finds Adrian Shields for a gain of 22. I'm pretty sure that was not thrown to Shields. It just landed in his hands. And now we are across the 50. It's a second and 10 now, play action fake. Johnson tries to buy time to throw it downfield. He's gonna be sacked. It's a third and long now with about, thir about 30 seconds left. And the offensive coordinator wants to run the football. He hands the ball off to Calvin and it's gonna be a gain of nothing. That will run this clock into halftime, but a 14 to six lead for CTU. So here we go in the second half. Army has not gotten into the end zone yet. And they start out with the ball, a tackle behind the line. Jamarcus Lexington, two tackles for loss for him today for the captain. Second and 12 now, Sanders running the option again. Smoke Wyatt trying to get in between the pitch man and it's going to be a gain of 12. We just need to go after the quarterback on those plays. First and 10 now, now an option to the right side, pitching it to Mike Huffman. He picks up a couple of yards. It looks like Tyler Ashley came up on the help. And now there's a second and eight, handoff to left side. There's that play again, so deceiving, and they give it to Yancey. He picks up a gain of nine, 47 yards carrying for him, 6.7 yards per carry, as now they're inside the red zone. Sanders takes off to the right side and almost takes a big hit but he gets down for a third and four what play will they run here will they pass or will they stick to this run running anti emotion they're gonna pass Sanders throws off his back foot he's gonna find Kirby the fullback and he only picks up a gain of two I am surprised they did not run that football as that sets him up for a field goal and this one's up and this one's no good this is the first time I've ever seen the CPU miss a field goal this close. That was from about 27 yards out, and it just they just shank it to the right. So here we are back on offense, looking to go the length of the field to stretch this lead, and there is a read option perfectly stopped that time. And now here's a second and 14. Johnson handing off to Calvin Smith, who tries to get to the outside. It's a loss of three. Now a third and 17. Johnson now in the shotgun at about our own 13 for a third and very, very long. Jackson, Jackson running in motion. This time Johnson throws to Calvin Smith who has it for 14 yards, but then gets hit hard. We're gonna have to punt this one away. Army's gonna be way back at their 24 yard line though. Here is Sanders with the first throw of the next drive. That one is thrown out of bounds. Incomplete for Army is now they run the option. This is Kirby with the fullback dive up the middle. It's gonna be about a gain of five. Third and five now at about the 28 yard line. Sanders under center. He throws to the right side into traffic. Good play. Jamarcus Lexington, the captain is there for the deflection. And another punt here for Army as our defense has been balling once again. Here is Jackson, Jackson with the catch to the left side. That's a gain of 11 and a first down. 11 first downs by each team, pressure up the middle and he gets rid of it, BJ to Kentrell Craft. What a throw, it's a gain of 11. Army's defense is playing actually very good pass defense today. Running a man in motion, but a handoff to Calvin Smith and shows the vision cutting up field. Gain of seven, we have given the rock to Calvin Smith today here towards the second half. And now we have not gone back to Adrian Johnson, looking for a little bit of a spark. Running BJ in, or actually Brian BJ Johnson in motion. Calvin Smith with the carry. He has a blocker. He gets to the one and he gets tripped up. Almost a long run by Calvin Smith. And he picks up a, the biggest run of the game for CTU. Nice block downfield by Mike Marone. And it sets us up inside the five. It looks like Jack Solemn checks into the game now. He gets the carry, he falls in. This is a touchdown, his third touchdown of the season so far. He scored in the first two games of the year and now he scores his third touchdown. It's now a 21 to six lead. 
So here is Army back out onto the field, trying to throw the ball down 21 to six. This is the position we want them in, not giving the ball to Yancey, but here they are pitching it to him right as we speak about it. Here is Yancey, he picks up the first down. You gotta think that Army's gonna try to throw the ball here as we start the fourth quarter soon. As now we get into the last play of the quarter, Yancey running wide, Sanders in the pocket, throws into coverage, and this one is caught. Anthony Tucker is there for a gain of 29. It looks like Tyler Ashley could not get over there. So they wind up getting it inside the five now for a first and goal to start the fourth quarter. Handoff, Kirby just avoids all tacklers. It's a touchdown. I'm not even sure the defense knew he had the ball on that one. And it is now 21 to 12. They're gonna allow him to go for two to make it a seven point game. Sanders runs the option and he's gonna be in. And now it is just a seven point game. Army gets possession right back after a turnover on the kickoff. And now it is about 60 yards to go to tie this ball game up. So 21 to 14 now. Here's a throw to the sideline. And we do end up with a stop that time and we get possession right back. And now it's 21 to 14. Wilkins back to receive this punt, and he muffs this one. It's going to be a turnover here for CTU. And how about that? So on the kickoff, we actually ran the ball back and then fumbled the football. And now we fumble on the punt return. And here is Sanders now handing off to Huffman. And the Army is inside a scoring range. If they get in here, they can tie the ball game up. So here is Sanders under center now for a third and six. Sanders moves, throws deep that. to the end zone, and this one's caught. It's Jaden Alcala with the interception. Wow, his third pick of the year. It's crazy how he's been balling. He's in his first year starting at safety as a true senior. And last year, he just rode the bench. What could have been if we would have started Jaden Alcala last year? Or maybe this was just his year to start. Either way, he has just been balling. So here is Mike Marone with a catch to start off the next drive in the flats. That's going to be a gain of about 12 yards. And we pick up the first down. 15 first downs by both teams. Screen pass called. Calvin Smith with the blocking. He gets to the outside. Breaks a tackle. And he's across the first down marker. It's a gain of 15. Army will call their first timeout right at two minutes. And here we go. One more first down wins it. So now we get it to a second and 11 handoff. Calvin Smith just trying to put the ball on the ground. And Army uses all their timeouts. And this could be it. This is a third and seven now. We convert here. We win. Here is Johnson moving. He's going to take it himself, and he does. First down scramble, and we have done the impossible, it seems like. Upsetting number nine Army, and we are 4-0. I did not see this start coming at all, especially with our defense. I did not expect our secondary to really be our strongest piece of the team, but it seems like it is that way. Jerome Henry is playing well this year. Bernard Benjamin is absolutely balling out, but how about Jaden Alcala, a guy that we did not even expect to be this good. He is just playing absolute center field there for the defense. And I mean, Tyler Ashley, he's doing everything. We already know what he's doing. But have we found something with the running game? Calvin Smith came in and he had a couple of uh, long runs and he had some burst on those carries and to be quite honest he gives us a new dynamic weapon we maybe haven't had Kenshaw Craft even lined up at running back that's something we will explore a little bit more especially going forward because we do need some speed at running back but I think that Calvin Smith it definitely helps us out there so we'll have to explore that a little bit more and then uh, Crawford Junior gets a sack today. Alcala has a pick. That's another game with a turnover. We have a turnover in at least every game so far. We were coming into this game third in the NCAA in interceptions, and Yancey didn't even get 70 yards rushing, and neither did Huffman, and this was just a great game. And Calvin Smith, he gets offensive player of the game off of that 15-carry, 75-yard rushing game. And here we are at 4-0. 
We are not at the top of our conference because there is a 2-0 team ahead of us. But Kansas State is next on the list. They are 4-0. So if there was a tougher game than the Army game, playing a number nine team, how about we play the number six team in Kansas State? And I think we found something in Calvin Smith, and he's going to get the start next game. He is an excellent back. He averaged 4.2 yards per carry that game, and he added something that we just haven't had on the offensive side of the football. So Kansas State coming in the next episode. Now, I'm not sure if we'll have the recruiting special or this Kansas State. I'm still not done with that yet. And we have the number six rush defense. They have the number six rush offense. So this is going to be an interesting game, to be honest with you. Can we stop this Kansas State running attack? The battle of the 4-0 teams, the undefeated teams in the Big 12. We will see what we're really made of after this game. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in the dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side, that's how we slide. That's how we ride, yeah, yeah, that's how we ride.